Right guys, um, I've cut it short. Um, in my introduction, I said I had eight videos to show. I've managed to get it down to seven, so that's quite all right for me. Um, it'll save on uploading time. So basically, this is the seventh video in my boa care. It's the total care of boas. I'm not an uh, expert, so you can follow it. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you find if you find my videos informative, then basically like subscribe if you want um comment if you think i've got done stuff wrong done stuff right um so yeah basically this video is the last video of the series and this is going to be on the cleaning of the tanks um like spot cleaning shedding um if you have mites what you can do to get rid of them what i did when i got mites if you get mites it's not the end of the world but i'll come back to that later uh basically um spot cleaning your tank Sounded weird then, but yeah, spot, <laughs> spot cleaning your tank. If you see any mess in your tank, row, uh, go through it once every two days, that's what I do. Go through it, just brush around the um, soil. Yeah, brush around the soil, like, bring, bring your hands through it. If you find any poo, just get it out there. You've got tissue paper. If you're not bothered about touching it, just pick it up, throw it, out, uh, throw it in the bin, then wash your hands after. Um... I use hand sanitizer as I said in my last video which is here. I use this after using like handling anything. Just put it on, go like that, and it's dry. So basically um yeah, spot clean it, um change water every day. So yeah, that's how that's basically how you clean it. Wouldn't if you're cleaning out your entire tank, you want to disinfect it with um reptile safe disinfectant. Um and if you're in America, use um, that uh, Preventamite and um, spray that inside your tank. Leave it an hour, put your snake back in, so then it kills any mites or any eggs or something what's in your bedding if it's in there. What I do, because you can't get, uh, or we well, can get it over here, that Preventamite, but what I do, I get blocks of this um, this substrate, which is uh, Ecoa. And I just put it in the freezer for 24 hours and it kills anything that's inside it that's living. So that's a decent way to prevent mites as well. Once you've done that, disinfect it all, cleaned it all, sort it all out, fresh water. Um, then, as I said, uh, Lilo's in shed at the minute. So what I do is increase the humidity to 70% so it gets um, her sorted and it's easier to shed. I'll show you two full sheds what my snakes done look like what they've done which are here that's um the biggest one is around six foot six point five feet and that's uh Mario's and the one next to it is uh Luigi's yeah, they're, they're what full sheds should look like. If your snake's healthy and you've got the humidity right, that's what they should come off like. Let's go around the side. I'll go around the side, and that's what it should look like. So, yeah, that's what full shed is. Um, your snakes regularly, regularly shed the skin. Um, as babies, it can be every couple of weeks to every month. And then, as adults, it slows right down. Um as the stop growing or slow down growth it can go anywhere from once a year so if your snake didn't shed for a while and it's big don't worry it's just perfectly normal and um yeah just don't worry as soon as you see they've got blue eye and um they've gone into shed increase the uh, humidity in the tank and it should be fine um other things to do with cleaning and like yeah, animals health if they get mites as i said you're not a bad keeper if you get mites it's something that happens to every single breeder that i have actually met um and i know a few ways how to prevent them if you catch them fast um well basically if snakes got mites what i seen after my friend came over he came over with a snake and his snake had mites i didn't notice but um I noticed after all my snakes started to just soak and soak and soak in the water bowl. If you see that, um, if you haven't seen it before and your snakes randomly start bathing a lot, 
thinking, oh, it's fine. Check the water bowl and you'll see little mites if you've got them, like little insects. If you've got them, it's not the end of the world. You can treat them. Make sure you get them fast, though. You get a number of um, things, such as in America, you get reptomite, um, not reptomite, uh, preventomite. You get um, mite away. You get all this stuff. And um, what I use and what's worked for me twice, because I've had mites twice, is this stuff. It's a tiny bottle, it's literally that big. It cost me £10 for this bottle, you can get it a bit cheaper on the internet, as I said with most of the stuff, but I get it from my reptile shop. Um, yeah, this. Basically, what I did when I found out they got mites, took everything out of the tank, all the wood, all the hides and everything, um, I put in a, bl a plastic bag, put it in my freezer for 72 hours. Kills everything. Then, after that, I bleach it, just to make sure, get everything off of it, bleach it all, and then uh, wipe it all, like clean it with uh, boiling hot water, then that should do it. Um, then if you want to do an additional thing, what I do, I refreeze it after that period, and then refreeze it for 24 hours, um, let it unfreeze, and put it back in its tank. But as that's doing that, the tank needs disinfecting, all around the tanks need disinfecting, so basically... What I did is took everything out of my tanks, thermostats, everything, moved all my tanks out, cleaned all the back of them with my vacuum, um, bleached everything inside the tank, moved all the lights, cleaned all inside the lights. Um, and when I had mites, I didn't have Lula, so I had this tank here free. Basically, what I did is put both of my snakes inside. I know my snakes don't fight, um, so I put them both in the tank. Sorry. Put both in the tank and um, basically it, it has this like chart on it and basically if your snake weighs in grams um, 80 to 200 you spray them once um, and it goes all the way up to 800 to 1000 you spray them five times. What I did because I had two in, I sprayed it about 10, 10 times on the snake so I spray, 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 yeah. Um, and then left it in there and let it dry basically what this does is um dry the skin out like makes it basically like leather and it dries it out like really bad and then after i leave them in there for about an hour to two hours um i take them out put them in my bath with lukewarm water around 25 degrees um let them swim around in there get all the dead mites and stuff off i repeat this around four times in the next two weeks so I do that, and um, that's basically how I got rid of my spray this, leave them for two hours, let them swim around in water, get it all off, and then put them back in, uh, disinfect the tank, what they were just in, what I sprayed this in, disinfect it all, put them on um, tissue paper or kitchen uh, paper, uh, roll, and then put them inside there. Then look at the skin again after a day or two look at if there's still if I still see mites if I still see them like on my hand if I've been handling them put them back in spray this and basically do that until all your mites are gone and then sort out your tanks make sure you put all your stuff in leave it for 24 hours more make, just make sure again recheck over your animals and if um, you're certain that they're clear of mites reintroduce them back to the tanks and that's what I did it took me about two weeks to get rid of uh, my infestation so yeah um if this helps at all this is the last video I'm gonna do about like the care of my bowers and stuff if it helps like subscribe comment um if you want a shout out in my next videos what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some feeding videos um if you want a shout out I'll do that for you and remember to subscribe and rate my videos cheers for watching